Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to update your Nexus 10 tablet to Android 5.0 Lollipop. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is download the update zip file in the description of the video. This is the official update that will happen to your tablet over the air, but if you don't want to wait for the over the air update, uh, then you can do this manually. If you go to about tablet system updates and it's not there, then you can just go ahead and manually update if you want to be impatient and not have to wait. You will need to be on build number KTU84P. So that's the official build. You also will need stock recovery uh, to apply this update zip. I do not believe a custom recovery will install this zip file. So once you have it downloaded, um, you're also gonna need to set up the Android ADB on your computer. I have a quick tutorial video showing you how to do that if you need to. I will link to that in the description as well. So set up ADB on your computer, download that file, and then we can actually go ahead and nav, uh, we're not done yet actually. Let's go ahead and power off our tablet. I also recommend having over 25% battery not 5% battery, which is what I'm at. Uh, so make sure you do charge your tablet up to at least 25%. All right, once your tablet is fully powered off, we need to go ahead and get into the bootloader. To do so, press and hold uh, volume down and volume up and the power button all at the same time. So press and hold all three of the buttons and keep it held down until it gets to this screen. So once you're on this screen, we need to go ahead and get into recovery. So use the volume up and down keys to navigate and the power button to select and go ahead and make sure it says recovery mode, then press the power button to select it. It's gonna take us to a screen that says no command actually after our tablet uh, goes back to the Google screen. And I'll sh tell you how to get out of that in just a second. All right, so this no command screen pops up. Now all you have to do is press volume down and the power button at the same time and it should take you into this screen where it says Android system recovery. Um, we're gonna need to use the volume keys to navigate again hit volume down and go to where it says apply update from ADB and press the power button. So press the power button and it says uh, now send the package you want to uh, send. So now we can, once we're at this screen, we can plug our Nexus 10 into our PC. So plug it on in. Uh, again, you do need the ADB set up on your computer so we can go ahead and go to our computer now. All right, once we're at our computer, what I want you to go ahead and do is uh, navigate to where you downloaded that file, that update zip file, a bunch of letters and numbers. You'll see um, LRX21P from KTU84P.zip. What I want you to do is select the entire text and copy it. If it doesn't say .zip at the end, don't worry. Just copy that entire file name into your clipboard. You're also gonna need to go ahead and uh, cut, right click and cut the file out of your downloads folder and then navigate to the Android SDK Windows folder that we just uh, set up, the ADB folder. Double click on it, and then double click on Platform Tools. And then what I want you to do is paste that file into that Platform Tools folder. So make sure that update zip is in the Platform Tools folder like mine is right now. Now, all you have to do is go ahead and hold Shift on the keyboard, right click, and hit Open Command Window here. It's gonna go ahead and open up this command prompt where we're gonna to need to type in only one command. And no, this is not gonna wipe any data. You don't have to worry about that. It's gonna be the official Lollipop update on your Nexus 10 and it should work just fine. So all you have to do is type ADB space sideload space and then what we need to do is paste in that file name that we just copied. So right click at the top of the command prompt, highlight edit and hit paste. Now make sure at the end it says .zip. If it doesn't say .zip, add it in. Just put .zip, but don't add two .zip, uh, .zips at the end, otherwise it's not gonna work. Okay, and once we have this command typed in, all you have to do is press enter. What's gonna end up happening is it's gonna take that file and push it to your Nexus 10. So uh, I believe a progress bar should, should, should show up on your Nexus 10. Uh, looks like the command prompts freaking out right now, but you also see a little percentage down at the bottom of the command prompt. It's at 16% right now. It's a large file. Looks like my Nexus 10 isn't doing anything different. So I'm gonna let it send the file and then I'll be right back. All right, so you'll see 100% sent um, and also on your device, now it's installing the system update. So what happens is uh, it uses the command prompt to push the file to your device. Once it's on your device, it's gonna go ahead and verify it and install it. Uh, this file was uh, fairly large, I guess. I mean, it is a complete operating system upgrade. So don't expect it to take too short of a time. Give it some time to install, patch all the necessary files. Uh, I'll be back and let you guys know what's gonna end up happening. It should automatically reboot your device and you should be on Lollipop, um, but I'll be back as soon as it's done installing. 
All right, so you'll see install from ADB complete. Uh, it took a decent amount of time, maybe three minutes. I didn't really keep count, but yeah, I let it run through. Uh, it wasn't too bad, and you'll see it didn't automatically reboot our tablet. No big deal, um, and we're done, actually. We should be good to go. Um, you'll see reboot system now is already highlighted. You can just press the power button, and it's going to actually reboot your Nexus 10, and we should be on Android 5.0 Lollipop now. That should be just about it. The only steps so uh, but also take note that this boot up is going to take a little bit longer than usual maybe actually more than a little bit it's going to take longer than usual so be patient with this first boot up don't get afraid if it's just kind of you think it's just booting up and booting up just be patient uh, give it some time you'll see there's the boot animation right there but i'm going to let it boot up and i will be back once it's done all right, so my tablet has booted up. As you can see, obviously right away, it is now running Android 5.0 Lollipop official. Um, so yeah, it, you'll see it did not wipe any data, anything like that. Let's go ahead and run into settings. Uh, looks like there's no, obviously, split settings menu anymore. Um, so we can go ahead and go into settings. Um, nice, uh, I guess, view of settings. They finally decided to make it more full screen. Uh, go to about tablet, and there it is. Android 5.0, right there. Uh, you can quickly, if you want to get to the Easter egg, quickly tap on Android version 5.0, and it will come up. You'll see Lollipop, yay! You can press and hold on that, and there's another Easter egg actually. So keep it held down. There we go, and it's going to open up an Android version of Flappy Bird for another Easter egg. So yeah, you can play around with that if you want to. Um, and that's it. So there you go. You now have Android 5.0 Lollipop in your Nexus 10 tablet. I will be doing a full review of Lollipop tomorrow. Actually today, it might be past midnight. I don't know. But yeah, soon. So make sure you subscribe to me. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.